Next we'll build the extended rail carriages. This is the rail carriage. You'll add the bolt, the bearing, and a lock washer. You do this for all four holes. This is probably one of the harder things to do is actually adjust the bearings on the linear cage. What you do is you just tighten them all the way down and then back them off approximately a quarter to an eighth of a turn and use the set screws to slowly tighten them up where you just do feel the bearings rolling. The, what I mean by that, you can feel the drag in the bearings. They're not rolling real smooth, so you got them torqued down pretty good. You want to just back them off just a little bit. And I find that it's best to tighten them where you're always raising them up instead of pushing them down. Just tighten it a little bit. Check it. Tighten it a little bit more. Get it good and tight. And pretty much already got that one done. And once you get that done, do the back side, then the other side, and you're good to go. Now that you got that done, you want to make sure that you put the bearing carriages facing upward. Next, you're going to take the 30 inch piece, or 33 inch piece rather, and install two of the nuts and bolt. Same for the other side. And pass this under. And once you pass that under, you want to take and raise one side up. Same for the other side. Next, you'll take one of the nineties insert just get it started do the same with the other and insert them on the carriage once you have that done just simply install it slide one of the two and a half inch Bolts through and apply a nut. Just hand tighten. And do the same for the other side. Okay, now to square this up, what I'm doing is I'm using clamps all over the place it'd be better if I had three more but I don't so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this side first I'll move this clamp here tighten it down move it over there tighten it and tighten it and that should get everything good and square 
I always double check and measure. But the more clamps you have, the better. Next, we'll go ahead and take the two 12 inch pieces shown here and get them ready to install. Now that that's all squared up, we'll go ahead and attach this piece. Slide this one in first. And slide those in. I'll take and clamp that down, tighten them, do the same to the other side. Use clamps to square everything up and then tighten it down.